showtime. Breaking news from the BS and Beer News Desk. Welcome in, everybody, to the Beer Chaser. I am your host, Dale. With me today, I've got Tomas and B Train. What's up, y'all? What's going Greetings. on? Who that? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is a great day. We've seen the Saints take care of business up in Indianapolis. The score, 38-27. Saints do their thing. Yo, how, how do you guys feel about this win, man? What, what's going on, Tomas? What you thinking? Well, I'm thinking that uh, I'm happy to have a win. Yes. I'm happy to... Uh, see what the potential of our offense could be, should be, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm fairly happy. And the defense played well, even though we allowed 27 points. But they still, I thought, played well. And certainly good to see them have some time off the field right. since our offense stayed on the field. Yes, yes, yes. Good points there. Train, what, what's your thoughts? Well, first off, I'm washing down this dub with a, a beat-up pecan ale. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Um, ah, open that. There we go. Um, you know, I, I think it wasn't as great as other victories we've had against the Colts. Uh, we did beat them 62-7 to once. Uh, we also beat them in a little game that we played at a neutral site in Miami. Um, forgot exactly which game that was, but that was a good one. Uh, yeah. but ha, they needed this right now. Yeah. Um, they needed to get that win. Uh, and you know, did it in relative convincing fashion. Like Tomas said, there was a couple, uh, you know, little things they, they, they for sure need to clean up, but, uh, did feel comfortable towards the end. And I think the team needed that. Um, and they're in a tie for first place right now in the NFC South. So yeah, all good. We, we saw the Falcons go down uh, today, which is wonderful. It's Sir. always a good thing when the Falcons lose anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> but Carolina won their first game today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Carolina win. They're yeah. still so far back, but I don't, you know, I mean, we only have four wins, so it's not like they're that far back, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. And it's not like they even have a first-round pick next year because they traded away to get Bryce Young. So, yeah, they could lose the rest of the season. I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Well, they chose the wrong quarterback, that's for sure. So. Yes, thankfully. Thankfully for us. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that was the battle of Stroud and Young, and, you know, Young Young won the first victory there. So we'll, we'll Might see. be his last victory. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully so. <laughs> yep. Hopefully so, man. Oh, so, yeah, Saints win 38-27. Let's go through uh, the game here. Got some notes. Um, starting off in the first quarter, uh, first first possession by the Colts. The I'm sorry, not the first possession, uh, second possession actually. Uh, the, sort, the, the Colts score a touchdown with a pass to uh, Pittman, and this was after a flag on a, uh, the kick. So they, they did like a, a field goal, and um, Breezy was called for um, what covering the field. Up over the yeah. Center. Yeah, <laughs> questionable. He, Very questionable. Wasn't lining up over the center. No, right. he was so so. Yeah, that was ridiculous, man. Come on, the inches. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was clearly to the left hand side of the center. He right. was not on top of the center. So yeah, and I, I get it if if it ended up majorly impacting the play, but it didn't. Right. Um, he there was he did nothing wrong there. That was extremely questionable. Uh, mm-hmm. First of several questionable calls by the uh, zebras oh. in this game. So many, so many questionable calls there, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really tired of the whole uh, referee's inconsistency thing. I'm sick of it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, the next drive, the Saints get the ball. I'm sorry, um, when, when the when the uh, Colts got the ball back, we got gashed mm. by Jonathan Taylor. Um, and I, I didn't I didn't like that that we gave up so many yards early oh. on on the ground. Um, what, what, what did you think early on about the, the run defense there, Tuma? Well, I, I think it's typical of Dennis Allen's defense, right? 
at the beginning of the game, some things happen, and then they make their adjustments, and it sort of shows them. But let's let's give the devil his due. Uh, Taylor is a top, you know, running back in this league. It's not like you know he's some guy we never heard of, you know. And uh, so, but there was some the usual arm tackling that doesn't work when you're playing against a big back. So, but you know that that was just one run. Uh, I, I thought after that, you know, we we did okay in, in holding down the run. Um, you know, still we have pressure on the quarterback, and then the run comes up, and it's like they don't push quite as hard. So, you know, I'm still not I'm not upset about that big run. I think that's just part of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah for me, I you know when I saw that that run, I just had PTSD to the Marshawn Lynch run. Of course, I think every Saints fan probably feels that way, but. Uh, yeah, Taylor's great. I mean, he averaged 7.9 yards per carry today, but that long was a 42-yard right. rush. So, like you said, you know, yeah, you, you take that one away, and, you know, he, he was still good, but not, nothing compared to what he was looking like early on. Right. 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 Yep. Um, oh, this is a good little point here. Um, thoughts on Pete, Pete Carmichael basically taking Carr out of the game in the red zone. Uh, so we saw a lot of, lot of Taysom Hill. In this game, um, effective. It works. Very effective. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's that's my thoughts on taking him out. <laughs> Hard to argue with the results. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely not gonna argue with these results. Um, play calling I thought was a lot more creative. Um, we had a lot better spacing out there. Good lord. We, we don't see receivers running jumbled up. Um in their in their uh, routes out there, I, I thought it was I thought it was good 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 game plan by P. Carmichael. What, what did you think there, uh, Tomas? Uh, yeah, I would agree with you, especially what you said there at the beginning. From the beginning of the game, I, I thought the spacing was much better. Mm-hmm. You didn't have two receivers in the same spot off by a yard, you know. So I, I thought that was much better. Yeah. And you know, Alvin looked better in this game. I, I thought, uh, you know, I had said this earlier. Uh, if the offensive line is allowed to just block for running, mm-hmm. I think we have a, a much better chance of, of, you know, pushing the ball down the field. Uh, and, and I have to say this, uh, Pete looks much better at tackle than at guard. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you know, where, where we went wrong. I mean, he was a tackle, in, you know, in college. And, yeah. uh, and, and sure I remember the first, went right when we drafted him, his right. first uh, camp was in uh, – in uh, West Virginia, yeah, and, and my wife and I were there, and that guy couldn't finish two gassers. I mean, we thought he was going to have a coronary, you know, <laughs> and, and so I was like, well, what a waste of a first round. But he really has looked, the last two weeks, I, I thought he's really looked good at tackle, yeah. and he's making some good blocks on that, sealing up the, the, the that side, and that's what they were running today. So Yeah, they're running the ball left. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a great point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I still thought it was messed up the way they handled the pinning thing, but you're right. I mean, it's kind of hard to argue with the results. And at this leading up to this point in the season, there was some drastic change needed. And they obviously see something that we don't. And putting Pete at left tackle is not the craziest idea in the world. So, yeah, um, for some reason, it didn't work the first time around. And that's how we ended up drafting pinning and, and maybe putting him in at, at left guard or whatever. But yeah. Oh, it's it's working right now, and uh, definitely keep him there. So. Yeah. Well, they kept him at left guard from from the time they got him because we had Armstead out there. Armstead, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so they they drafted him to put him at guard, but you know, perhaps that was a mistake from the beginning for them. You know, maybe yeah, his natural position seems to be tackled. It didn't feel know? natural so, at first. I mean, he kind of grew into it, but it, it definitely seemed like he was more adept at playing tackle. Yeah. And Penning, you know, again, remember, he sat out for so long, yep. you know, he's still like a rookie playing. And yeah, he, red, he thinks red way freshman. too much. You know, he thinks way too much. Mm-hmm. And he just needs to get out of his head and, and just let his natural ability take over, you know. So yeah. it'll come in time. I think it'll come in time, you know. Yeah. Um, as for me, I like the play calling today. I think that, I mean, we all know that Dennis Allen is like, um, fighting for his job here, but mm-hmm. uh, there was a couple little trends that I saw that we'll probably talk a little more about later, but like some of the miscommunication things I think are still present, but it looks like they're getting better. Um, okay. 
apparently Shahid is the guy you throw a long bomb to and not Olave. Um, (laughs) (laughs) He's fast. Um, But yeah, the the running, you know, and where they were running to and just when to put Taysom in the game and keeping him in the game when it was working. I mean, I I thought the play calling looked really good today. Yeah, I agree. So when the Saints get the ball, they respond with a good drive and they use the play that I love, Alvin Kamara angle route oh, out man. the backfield. That was touchdown, great. seven, seven, tied up. Um, I, that's the play I was calling for previous weeks and I was like, get the ball to AK. You know? Yes. <laughs> he finished. The way he finished that, yeah. that, that run or that, uh, that play was just, that was great. He wanted that touchdown. And yeah. nothing's given right now, you know. Like if he had gone down at the one yard line, who knows if this offense would have been able to punch it in? Probably, but like you take the points, you can get them. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's why I said I thought AK had a really good game today. I thought he played with a lot more uh, um, energy, mm-hmm. you know. And yeah. on that play, you know, when he kept his balance, you know, it's it's so obvious that that's the AK of like two or three years yeah, ago, yeah, for you really. know. Yeah. So to me, I was like, ah, he's back already now. Now we're looking at the real. In a Camaro running out there. So, yep. Yep. I agree. Saints get called for pass interference on Lattimore. Um, we lead the league in pass interference. And at that moment, it was like 11 um, pass interference yeah. calls on the season. Um, look, I, I know we talk about the, the refs being bad, everything like that. But at some point, isn't it, isn't it some kind of technique issues that we should be looking at to maybe correct this thing? I to be honest with you, man, like I'm pretty sure that's the play you're referring to is the one where they were choking out Bree, you know, Breezy or one of our defensive linemen. And it was just, you know, I saw it a few times during the game and it wasn't called. Um, so yeah, I mean, on the defensive pass interference, I'm sure some of that is discipline and technique and stuff, but it is really, really frustrating when um they're never calling holding on our guys. Mm. And, yeah. But they'll call the defensive pass interference. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were there and I think that that goes back to, you know, if the if their offensive line is grabbing the jerseys of our defensive players, that gives Minshew another second and a half back there. That's when the pass interference is going to take place. Yeah, exactly. You know, if they don't grab our defensive linemen, then Minshew's got to get rid of the ball. There's no PI. You know, it's that extra second, second and a half that gets us in trouble. Yeah. And and I have to tell you, I mean, I, I don't know if it's so much technique. Like I say to you, I, I think it's just a question of timing. You know, just like they didn't call uh, on that, and I'm sure we'll get to it, but on, on that last play where they, you know, said there was an interception and they, they turned it around and called the right play. Yeah. Their defensive man never turned back to the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, so it should have been pass interference in addition to that we caught the ball. So, yeah. you know, so technique oh, yeah. wise, I mean, it seems to me that our defensive backfield is turning their head and looking at the ball. So, you know, I don't necessarily think that it's, it's a technique issue. So. Okay. Um, so the Saints defense end up holding a fourth field goal at that point is 10, seven Colts. Um, and then Minshew was kind of limping off on this throwaway. It, it would have been nice to just see them finish the sack there. Um, and, and that's, I saw that a few times today where we almost had the sack. He's running around, he's dancing and stuff. And we, if we could just finish the sack, it's a big play for the defense. Um, they, they, did, they did make a few sacks, but we could have had more. Um, yeah. What did you think about the, the defensive line there, Tomas? I thought the line played well. Again, like I said, what we were just talking about, mm-hmm. you know, you, you, you're, um, you know, you're being held on just about every damn play. Mm-hmm. You know, and so it makes it tough. And still, even with that, he had to run to the outside. There was no stepping up into the pocket. If you want, if you, you know, if you think about it, our, the center of our line, Sanders, I mean, he, he played a, a really good, good game. Yeah. Shepard, too, yeah. and keeping that middle up. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, look, look, Minshew's a good quarterback. You know, he's got escapability out of that pocket. And that's, you know, that's what they expect the quarterback to do. Uh, so I thought our defensive line played well, uh, on that particular play that you were talking about, he's lucky that ball didn't get intercepted or something else. You know, he was trying to force a play that wasn't there. 
you so, know, yeah, a bunch of near picks today. Right, right. <laughs> you got to take advantage of, of that kind of quarterback <laughs> yeah. when they're they're back there trying to make something happen, and then they're gonna throw a dumb pass. And yeah. You got to make them pay for that. Yeah. Um, the defensive line ended up with with two sacks and a one by Granderson, one by Nathan Shepard. Um, we we did have pressures for sure. You saw uh, a, a sighting from Foskey. Um, Cam Jordan chipped in with some pressure, but I, I, I just want to see some finishes. I want to see some actual sacks um, be produced there by the defensive line. Yeah, and I knew that when he was limping away and they were looking at him on the sideline, not only did I know he was going to come back in, but that somehow he was going to look better than ever. That's just how this defense responds to, uh, shall we say, injured quarterbacks. Yeah. Like, uh, what's his name? Um, Trevor Lawrence last week. That's just how it works. Well, Trevor Lawrence wasn't really – they made it out to be much worse than yeah. the way. Really that, yeah. that was a that was a head game they were playing with with the same. Of course. You know, so, but, <laughs> but but on this one, he might might have tweaked something. But hey, you know it's the it's the game. Yeah. You you play yeah. hurt. You know? He's gonna feel it tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. They'll, they'll be soaking for the whole yeah. week. You know. Yeah. So, but uh, I think that you'll see. You know, Dale. I think that you will see more sacks as Brise gets. Better and better in the in the middle of the of the of the line. Yeah, you know, as they play him more, not mm-hmm. not to take anything away from Shepard and and. Uh, no, that's that's a good thing when you got multiple guys. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, great yeah. A, <laughs> we, a fresher guy we, and, a, and a young guy who really, I mean, he's way ahead of the curve as far as a rookie playing defensive line, in my opinion. So we even got a Pro Bowl fullback playing defensive tackle oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling wanna- you. I'm liking that a lot. I have to tell you guys. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I want to see fun. Saunders catch a touchdown. Oh so man, bad. I need that. <laughs> I think it's. Yeah, I think it's in the playbook. Don't, don't be surprised, Dale. You know, <laughs> it's coming. That would be awesome. Against like, Atlanta would be really good. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing you do when you're up like 42 to seven against Atlanta. Just a flex on them. <laughs> exactly. 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 I love it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. So we see Carr uh, give up a fumble. Uh, the Colts recovered. He was sacked when trying to step up in the pocket. Um, the Colts followed that up with a Zach Moss touchdown into the end zone, 16-7. Uh, Colts leading at this point. Um, you know, Not a bright spot. The turnovers. You know, yeah. it's just, it, it is what it is, man. You can't can't turn the ball over. So, um, now early on, we did see lots of targets. For Mike Thomas, and this is in the second quarter, he had like four targets. Yeah. Um, so it, it became a, a real big part of the game plan here. Um, I, I I love seeing that, especially because he was kind of questionable. We heard late with the, the illness. I was kind of thinking maybe he might not play. No, I was thinking this was like the Michael Jordan flu game. I knew ah. it was it, you know? <laughs> You want to talk about head games, but I mean, honestly, still a shade of the 2019 Michael Thomas, but I still like what I'm seeing this year with him. He's still the guy that when times are tough and we're down and everything, he's, he's just, right. a, he's the go-to guy. He makes the play happen. He yeah, can still do it. Yeah. Yeah. He's got, he's got a big heart. And I, I can tell you, I've been down all week. So, you know, it's something that's going around. Yeah. Oh, for know? sure. For so sure. I, I can tell you, you know, I don't know what the hell it is, you know, it, it, but yeah, it zaps your energy. So it, it, that's the same bug that they've been having all week long. Yeah. And I can understand why he was thinking that, why some were thinking, Hey, he may not play, but yeah. and, you know, he's, I have to tell you, I, mean, I am so impressed this year with Michael Thomas, mm-hmm. you know, he, he would, he withstood all the bad stuff that came down the pike and how people didn't like him and all, you know, God bless him because I'm at, at, at as we said, you know, he was the go-to guy in that second quarter. And, I mean, he didn't miss anything, you know, so. Yep. He still got it. Uh, we saw Taysom Hill with a 20-yard run to punch it My in. Man. Really, really good awesome. run blocking. That made it 17-14 Colts. Um, the, the only issue I would have is it wasn't considered a red zone touchdown, but I'm going to give it to him, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, hey, look, you can't have red zone problems if you just score from outside the red zone. True. Right? True. That's one of the red zone problems. <laughs> <laughs> I, did they say that was the longest run of the season for the Saints? Yes. yes. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. That's what they that said. That was good. That, yeah. I mean. And, that, and, 
And that'll be my next jersey, by the way. I'm, I'm going to break down and get a Hill jersey. Now. There you go. Man. Oh, okay. Now, I've been this, I'm debating who I was going to get this season. Yeah. And after today's game, I'm getting Hill. That's a good choice. That's a good go. choice. Hey, he's been with the team for long enough now. You know he's going to retire with the Saints. Yes. Uh, hopefully yes. he's still got a while left. But, man, just a great, great player. Yep. Yeah, definitely. We saw How's that here? beer, by the way, uh, B-Train? Man, I love this one. I had to get this in um, – not in Louisiana, unfortunately, but I, I drove down to Georgia a couple weeks ago and where they sell a beta and was able to stock up on it. Uh, this mm-hmm. time of year, I always love the pecan one um, yeah. just in the fall. Cool. Leading yeah, up to Thanksgiving. Cool. Really, really good. They, they just have a place here that just got the nut or butter or whatever it is. I, I, have I still haven't it. seen that. I want that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Someone I, needs I to should alcohol <laughs> free the whole week. So I'm not drinking beer now because of the stupid whatever it is that I got here. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, taking all my supplements and Advil, whatever the hell else. I don't want to <laughs> pass out. But, uh, yeah, that'll, that nut or butter I'm going to try. I'll let you guys know how it is. Yeah, that'll be nice when you heal up, man. Um, oh, yeah. That's like a stout, right? There you go. Yeah. Is that one a stout? Yeah, it's a golden. They say it's a white Ooh, stout. Interesting. That, yeah, yeah. That's a good combo right there, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping it'll be like the one I used to drink out of uh, Cincinnati. Uh, Ryan guys used to make something called Penguin, and it was a white stout. Really oh, good. Interesting. Really good. I love me a good stout every now and then. Oh, uh, all the time. All the time. Uh, I'm stout <laughs> all the time. 24 7, 365. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm stout. Yeah, as 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 uh, they used to say to me, Tomas, what motor oil are you drinking today? Oh, you like the too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you like the porters too, right, Tomas? Oh yeah, I'll drink a porter or even a, yeah. a brown ale if you know, and yeah. a, and a good lager. I, I'm good with a good lager. There you the go. The only thing I yeah. don't drink IPAs. Okay. Brothers, if I want to bite on a pine cone, I'll go walk in <laughs> the forest in Mississippi and grab me a hunk of a pine. You know what I'm saying? I hope saying? Craig's listening. I hope Craig's listening right now. He needs to hear this. <laughs> Man, IPAs, dude, you know? I, I used to be a guy, who, his yeah. name was Yule Gibbons, mm-hmm. and he used to say, pine trees, some parts are edible. Well, you know what? That's how they found the IPA. You know? <laughs> some parts are edible. No thanks. That is what they taste like. Yeah. I, I got to be in the mood for it, but that's, yeah, I, I'm i not usually a fan myself. So. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yep. All right. We saw Carr hit a deep pass to Shahid. That was the theme of the day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was only three. Three, three uh, receptions for 150 yards. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> on the money, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but that was the longest play of the Saints, uh, Saints year. Um, hitting that hitting that deep pass to Shahid. We have 21-17 Saints. Um, definitely offense clicking. Yep. Man, I'm I'm really hoping this is not just a fluke. I, I want to see more of this. This is so good. Well, whatever we were doing against the Patriots, whatever we were doing today, let's just keep doing that. Is mm-hmm. that a, too much to ask for? Let's just keep it going, you know? <laughs> Come on. Well, I would say today's game was better than the Patriots because – the Patriots were just – when we played them, yeah, they were just an awful team. I mean, anything would have worked. Oh, yeah. They Today, were talking about firing Bill Belichick the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I mean, I think the Colts' defense is a good defense. Even though their big star was banged up, he's still playing. So, yeah. I, I think we, we – we, we're better now offensively, I think. The communication is better. Now, if we can just teach Olave, like Shahid, turn on the retros – when you're ready to go out there for a pass and don't give up on it, you know, because, and at least from what my perspective on those ones that were long that he didn't catch, he sort of turned off five yards before he should have, you know, whereas Shahid turns it up even more to go get the ball. So, you know, who can really play with this front line? I don't know, yeah. if, I, don't know if I agree with that. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not, Great, but to worse than the Archie Manning. No, I think we've seen worse. It's, it's I mean, the best offensive line performance we've seen so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, look, I'm going to keep reminding people. Two years ago, uh, that Miami game, we were suiting up guys that signed with the team that morning. Right. So uh, yeah. yes, I'm sorry. It can get worse. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we've seen worse for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm actually impressed with Garcia's play. Yeah. Really. Pretty you good. Know. Yeah. Really. Um. Because I never thought that he could start like that. And I, yeah. I think he's, and like I said, I mean, I'm really impressed with Pete at the tackle position. I'm like, yeah. man, you know? So, 
Uh, you spent too much I would time. disagree with that statement about it being the worst offense. Yeah. You know. We, yeah. we, spent, we spent too much time messing around with Hurst. <laughs> well, good backup. Yeah, I, mean, I think. Look, I think this is yeah. the problem. If I'm, I'm going to be truthful, you know, we have backup players, right? We have really good offensive line backup players. Now we're forced to play some of them as starting players, and they're doing a good job. But you know, these aren't the guys you know that we had in Drew's prime. You know, those were all starting players. I don't care. That, oh, yeah. they're all first round draft choice. It doesn't matter. You know, so we got spoiled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's the bottom line because when Drew was at his peak, our offensive line was at its peak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so you know, I'm sorry, we we don't have a Hall of Fame quarterback, and we nope. don't have you know all stars on the offensive well, line. Multiple yeah. Hall of Fame O line players too, like Jari yeah. Evans. I mean, yeah, some of those guys are going in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Nick's Evans, yes. Armstead when he's healthy. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, we and uh, what's his name? The senator we got from Seattle, uh, Unger. Unger was Unger. great, yeah. and yeah. even Zach, Zach Streif was good for yeah. for many yeah. years. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, you can't compare those guys to these guys. You know, these yeah. are some good players. They're not great, but I'm telling you, if these were our guys sitting on the bench and getting ready to come in, if you needed them, man, that would be a heck of a you know uh, offensive line depth wise. You know? Yeah. So. So I disagree with that statement that the guy said. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So getting to the end of the first half, uh, the Colts kick a field goal, and it's 21-20 Saints at the end of the half. Um, so when we get to the second half, the first note I have is about the Olave drop on this oh, wide open looking touchdown that he had, but but then Carr followed it up with a high pass. Olave. Wait, 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 wait. Was that pass really that high? Did you keep yeah, watching the high. replays of it? it I mean, high. it was high, but I don't know. Again, did, did Olave jump too soon? Did he give up on the ball? See, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. When I watch Shahid, he don't give up on anything, right? Michael Thomas doesn't give up on anything. You know, to me, it seems like Olave is like, hey, you know, I screwed up on that last play. I don't know. And, you know, you can't drive around like that. What's weird is that Olave last year in his rookie year, I thought he looked really, really good. And even still this year, like he's shown that he can be really good, but there's just something going on there. At times. Him. Yeah. yeah. It's something going on between him and Carr. But it's funny because Carr seems to have figured it out with the other players. It's just him yeah. and Olave are not on the same page. Yeah. And it's, it's possible that they just don't see eye to eye and, you know. Yeah. Maybe something needs to be done, you know, but, you know, we'll, we'll get to that later on for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, th- this is consecutive weeks, you know, where, where we see this kind of thing. Um, I just want my first round pick to play like first round pick at all times. I want him to be the best wide receiver in that class. I, it just doesn't look that way right now. So we know he can do it because he did it last year. Last year, yeah. he looked really good. Yep. But, but just remember, as we always say, Dale, just because you're picked in the first round doesn't mean that you're going to be better than somebody else, you know? Shahid was not picked in the first round. Shahid was, was undrafted. Undrafted, yes. That's what I'm saying. That's and he, I'm looks saying. A, he looks great. Yeah. I mean, if you redrafted right now, I'm sure someone would draft him pretty high. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Knowing now, if they yeah. need to end with you know now, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. Sure, sure, sure. You know. Yep. Yep. Um, so then the Colts get the ball. Zach Moss, he does break a long run. However, Adebo does come up with an interception Oof. that kills that drive. Timely. Yes. Yes, <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, what, what did you think about Adebo's game uh, today so much? I, I thought he played a good game. Mm-hmm. I mean, I really, you know, all that talk, if you remember in the offseason about how um, Taylor might beat him out. Right. Yes. You know, yes. and so forth. <laughs> I just think when, when, and I think, you're looking at a man who now is healthy. And I think that when he is healthy, and I'm going to say this, I think he's at the same point that we have with uh, with our all-star defensive back. You know, I, I really think that Lattimore, you know, he could be just as good as Lattimore. We, we could have two 
outstanding cornerbacks that people mm-hmm. wouldn't know which way to throw. Uh, when he's healthy, which we saw today, you know. Now that's not to take anything away from uh, from Monte Taylor. I mean, he's I think he's a good a good position player. Mm-hmm. Now again, I don't know is he good enough to play the slot? That's a tough position to play. Right. Well, you know? I, I think he's looked pretty good. I, I think they've kind of figured it out. I think putting Adebo outside and then putting Taylor in the slot seems to maximize their strengths. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. they both look really good in those roles. Yeah. But I think Taylor could even be better as he continues to learn about the slot. I don't think he's really, you know, at yeah. that point. Yeah. At the true, slot, true. As opposed to how Adebo and, and Lattimore are at the corner. Well, and yeah, because Taylor wasn't drafted to be a, a slot guy. Right. No, he's no, he's no. he's excelling, I think, in in a role that's probably not natural for him. Yes, yes, yes. He's getting there. He's getting yeah. there. But but a Debo, there's no doubt that dude can play corner. Yeah, you know? and and he's not scared. He'll he'll get right up in the guy's face on the line. I, I love our man on man coverage. I, I you know I, I think it's outstanding defensive play. Yeah, Sec- secondary I think looks great. I think our weakness on defense is is the line. Unfortunately, I mean they they have some well, good players there, but um, but I, I you know you've got some like Cameron Jordan who I think is is amazing and I love him and I want him to play for New Orleans as long as he can. But I you know it's hard to say that he hasn't missed a step yes. uh, over yeah. the years. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with yeah. that. But when we get to say our player on defense, I'll mention somebody on defense that. <laughs> Uh, I think was outstanding today. You know, in, in a couple of a couple of points here, I think we're going to talk about that, Tomas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okie Um AK scored a touchdown on a draw play, and that made it twenty-eight to twenty Saints. Um, again, creativity, because when when you're you're that's a good way to. Um, to balance out the the pass rush, you yeah. can hit him hit him with a, a quick draw like that, and you know AK made him made him pay for it. Yep. So I, I I love I love the fact that Pete Carmichael's uh, mixing it up. He's kind of getting back to his roots. I think that was good. Taking advantage of the strengths of your players. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah and what I said earlier, man, just get in the huddle and tell the offensive line it's your turn. Just push mm-hmm. these guys off the damn line and let's go. You know. And so, you know, Alvin just needs a little crack to go, man. You know. Yeah, and they, they looked good with that today, and I think that was supposedly one of the issues with pinning earlier on was the some of those run plays. But uh, another one too, not just Kamara, but I thought Jamal Williams yeah. uh, looked really good. It looks like he's finally, you know, back to oh, being yeah. healthy again. Yeah, yeah he, he got taken off of the uh, pitch count there. He got six yep. carries, thirty yards right. along with ten. So uh, good, good to see him back out there contributing for sure yep um so we saw some some pressure from uh from the defense and Minshew turns it over and this is the play where we saw Fosky come in and make the hit but you know it went under review they reversed the call and the Colts get the ball back but but Fosky sighting I'm all for it (laughs) give me some Fosky making plays please (laughs) <laughs> I'd like to see some more of them, uh, but you know, hopefully he's hitting his stride. Um, yeah. You know, when I looked at the review, I was like, "Yeah, that's they're going to reverse that." Unfortunately, yeah. but but it was good to see. Yeah, the defense getting some momentum, getting some pressure, all that. Yeah. Now Jordan Howden broke up the pass to force yeah. that punt. That was good. And I know you want to talk oh, about yeah. him, Tomas. So go right ahead. Man, <laughs> I am so impressed with this young man. I really. I mean, and I was keeping an eye on him during the game because I knew we were going to talk after the game. And I was like, man, this dude could play, mm-hmm. you know. I didn't see any drop-off ready when May is not in the game. I, at this point, I don't see a drop-off, you know. So that, and, that was my question, too. Like, it, did is this like a coach decision to, to start out over May? Or what, what was the deal with that? Man, it doesn't look like to me. Yeah, it, he looked good. I mean, it, I I didn't even see a difference, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and I like May. Don't get me wrong. Yep. You know, he's good. But that that young man today, I, I thought he played outstanding today. Yeah, for you a know? rookie to be playing at that level where there was no noticeable drop off from a great yep. player like May, I mean, yeah, that's that's a big yep. testament to how good he is. Yeah, yep. and like yep. I was saying about Penning, if you watch Howden, he's not thinking you no know, double thinking, triple thinking. Oh, should I cover over this side? Should I do this? Side? 
No. I mean, he's just on the spot. He knows where he has to do and, and the hits. Man, when he hits somebody, you know, that's I, I, I miss the, the good old days with the good old Tommy Myers kinds of hits. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Uh, and, and, and I know he can't do that today, right. but at least he wraps the guy up and hits him to the ground, you know? So I'm all good with that. But that's my defensive guy, buddy, right there. Yep. Nice. All right. So Saints get the ball back. And stop me if you heard this one, but a big play to Shahid. <laughs> and this is oh. the one where um, he, he's on the ground. Defender kind of strips the ball away. They review it. Uh, Saints get the ball because, you know, Ty goes to receiver and uh, we get the call there. So um, another big play by Shahid, Tomas. Well, I I'm not sure, but I think the tie goes to the runner only in baseball. I don't think the tie <laughs> goes to the receiver in football. But on every replay you see, he has control of the ball. His knee hits the ground. Mm -hmm. So that's it. The play yeah, that, is, that is that is what they call it. So you're right. You know, you're right. Yeah, oh, the, the, the defender sold it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But you look at every angle they showed, and you can clearly see that he has both hands on the ball. Yeah, his knee hits the ground. They both hit the ground. So knee, shoulder, play is over. You know, so yeah, it happened so fast that you know, if you're a referee, I can understand why maybe in the moment they might say, "Oh, well, the defender ended up with the ball, so yes, he has yes. it." But but you can't just take the ball from a dude after he's down and right. then pretend like he right. had it all along, you know? Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, props for trying, but. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. The thing I loved about that play is Shahid really showed some good ball skills. He tracked the ball in the air, got himself in position to make that catch yes. uh, and, well, and come down with it. So. And look, that was, that was Taysom Hill. Now I'm, uh, that was a little underthrown, but I love the play call. You have to let him throw it every mm -hmm. once in a while yeah. um, just to keep the defense honest. I mean, it, but, you know, not that it matters because when the guy lines up behind center, who's going to stop him? Especially if you got Saunders freaking blocking right. for him as fullback. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's stopping that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's the next thing I got here. Taysom Hill, TD, 35-20 yeah. Saints. Um, Sir. Yeah, I, and, and that's that's when I thought about the whole Colin Saunders thing. Like, my goodness. <laughs> I want this big dude to catch a touchdown. Well, I, I think he's deserved it. But what I really like was that they tried that play a couple times yeah. and he didn't quite get in. And I think we had a false start or something and, and they got back to like the one yard line and they let, they let him do it again. And I was like, mm -hmm. this is awesome. I love that. They are, they're putting Saunders in as a fullback. Uh, with it. Yep. Yeah. Great. Love yeah. it. And I tell you what else I liked about it. I like the spirit because when they got through on the touchdown, Saunders was standing in the end zone. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so that to me tells me that this the team is now coming more together rather than being, you know, pointing fingers at your fault, my fault, you know. Right. So that's yeah. something I think. And, and we need to make sure that when Taysom is in there, he does throw a pass because mm -hmm. otherwise they key on him, you know. Honest. So, so I think the Sanders pass is coming. Now, I'm not going to be surprised at all, you know, for the standard. I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of those jump pass kind of things either. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? So yeah. Are you, are you yeah. specifically calling a Taysom to Saunders touchdown? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 All right. Yes. Yeah. Hell I look yeah. forward to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can see it. I can see it like a little pop pass. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah. Pretending yeah. like he's going to run it and then just stop for a second. Yeah. And then on a slope oh. right over the top yep. of the – yeah. Like That'll it. be very satisfying. I like yeah. it, Tomas. I, I can't wait to can't wait till they call your play. I'm, I'm gonna do your prop. Yeah, All right, special. That's what we'll call <laughs> it. That's right, Tomas special. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So instead, when he goes up to the line here, they say Louis, Louis, like he did today. He says, yeah. Tomas, Tomas. All right, we got well, it. I, we know what the play is gonna be. I hope other teams aren't listening to this because then that's gonna give it away. <laughs> that's right. That's oh, right. <laughs> so Minshew. Had lots of time scrambling around. He ended up yeah. finding a touchdown. He's finding a tight end open, scored to a touchdown. So it's now it's 35 27 Saints. Um, I this is again with him scrambling around. I yeah. it, it just bothered me a lot. Like, let's let's get this fool on the ground, please. I thought so, so too. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier said than done, you know? Yep, yep, it is. I mean, truly, he has experience, mm -hmm. he's been around. 
you know, and so and he's a good quarterback. Yeah. I mean, he's good. You know, you, you got as I say, you have to give the devil his due. Now, on that particular play, I would tell you that. Uh, there was an issue in the defensive backfield. They, that, that wasn't a good play on the defense. Okay. You know? So not not the line necessarily, but I thought they were kind of in the wrong place. Do you the think Minshew um, start somewhere next year? Uh, uh, not necessarily. Okay. You know, but but I mean, he's a hell of a backup. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I mean, I can think see about it. it where would the Colts be if, if he wasn't there on that team? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, he, I could see him being a starter, but it's kind of conditional because everything just depends on the situation. Like maybe there's a team whose starter goes down in the preseason. Um, I, right. I could see him coming in and starting for a team, but I don't think he's necessarily going to be anyone's first choice. Right. 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 You so know, I think just like he's doing with the Colts, if some team, you know, uh, well, like, like for example, let say Detroit. You know, who's Detroit got as a backup to uh, golf to their starting quarterback? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right, I don't know either. Mm-hmm. You know, so that tells you right there. Yeah, you know, uh, Teddy Bridgewater. No, 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 no. Um, they drafted the guy from uh from Tennessee. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. It's Teddy though. Teddy's the backup. Yeah, Teddy. Teddy is back there too. He's like yeah. number fifty-five or something weird. Which I I want to see him play just for the. Chaos of seeing a quarterback wear number fifty something. Yeah, I, I, th- yeah. I think he got a different number now. Yeah, but, uh, yeah he yeah. changed his number. That yeah. was just when he first got there. I don't that know why good. they allowed that. They can't have a quarterback like he's. It's not like he's Taysom Hill where he's technically something else. No, he is a quarterback, <laughs> and they let him play uh, with a number in the fifties. Yep, that's funny. <laughs> so now we getting late in the game, and we got back to back pre snap penalties for the Saints on offense. Um, yeah, now, one of them was 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 bull. That's when they called the. The center with the uh, false start because right, he moved real. the ball. What, what? What do you mean he moved? Who the else? Ball? It, the, <laughs> the center is the one that snaps the ball. That doesn't make any damn sense. I mean, he does it every damn down. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I think that when they do it, they just scoot it on the ground. He mm-hmm. lifted it and pushed it forward. Mm-hmm. So I think that that was the the, the little thing that the refs like. Oh, he lifted the ball. It's not a false start. It's just a start. But that time he did it with a little style. A little exactly. flourish on it. <laughs> I agree, Petrain. I agree. I agree. I agree. But then after those back to back uh penalties, Carr responds with what? He passed the Shaheed. Yeah. <laughs> you can't you can't guard that. I mean you I mean you gotta have the safety on him way back deep or something because he's gonna outrun everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Well, he really got to that defensive back that was on him because he didn't break to the outside. He broke to the inside. Yeah. yeah. You know? And even uh, Sanchez, who was doing the color on the game, called it out. He said, oh, he's not supposed to break to the inside. And I'm like, what do you mean? With that kind of speed, he can break inside, yeah. outside. It doesn't make any difference. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, get past everybody. Doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a great play. You know? Yeah, and the ball was right on the spot. On the that was a dime. Perfect. Right. On the money. You know? yeah. That was smooth. Yep, but I, I got to give Carr his props when it's due, uh, for sure. Um, so the Saints end the game with a groupie field goal that makes it 38-27. Um, thoughts about groupie? Louisiana shrimp. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little feller. Louisiana shrimp, getting yeah. it done. He still looks like a middle school student playing out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yeah. hey, you know, he comes out, he does his job, I'm good. I'm just hopeful that he's getting that experience and be, getting his head in the right place so that when it really is on the line, he can come in there and knock it through, you know? So yeah. um, it's not the same to... thing when you're way ahead and you're just kicking a three-pointer as opposed to you know, you're losing by a point and you had to make this to win the game, you know? Yep. So, it felt but, good to watch him ice the game, though, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I, I'm just surprised every kickoff that goes down into the end zone and out, I'm like, this little guy – has got yeah. a leg yeah. that doesn't match his stature, you know. Mm-hmm. They said that in the pregame he was hitting sixty-yard field goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, you remember in the preseason he almost made a sixty-yard or two. So it's yeah, it's coming. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know how a little guy like that has such a strong leg. Technique. It's got. It's yeah. got to be. He's got, got an technique, incredible yeah. grasp on technique. Because yeah, mm-hmm. I just, you know, he he's smaller than me. You know, I mean. 
I'm six one two thirty five. I stand next to him and he looked like you know. If he was amazing. playing in high school, I wouldn't question it. I'd say, yeah, that's right. High school kicker. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. When he's out amongst those big trees, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how. What I always worry about is that because he's so small that they're going to block it, you know. But yeah. I guess it doesn't matter how tall he is. It's just how yeah. high he can kick it right off the bat. Oh, that's it. <laughs> the, yeah, the trajectory. That's why I say yeah. he must have a really good understanding of technique yeah. in, 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 in his uh, style of kicking. You know? mm-hmm. So, All right. Well, it's time for player of the game. Uh, Tomas, let's start with you first. Who, who you got? Offense Man, and defense. I, I, uh, offense and defense? Yeah. Well, defense, I'm going to go with Howden. I, I really think. He played an outstanding game back there. Uh, so, although it was close with Adebo, because I thought Adebo played a good game too. Mm-hmm. But for a rookie, I'm giving it to Howe. On offense, how could you go wrong? There can only be one guy, Taysom. Sorry. Yeah. You know, when you look, he's got passing yards. He's got running yards. He scores TDs. This guy is a machine, yeah. you know. So, and like I said, Jersey number seven coming right here. There we go. Yeah. So, <laughs> Taysom one catch, fourteen yards, uh, nine rushes, sixty-three yards, two touchdowns, a long of twenty. That's good, good, good choice there. B train, who you got for offense? I can't argue with that. It was definitely a Taysom game. I think the announcers even said that they said this mm-hmm. is a Taysom game. Um, he probably could have done even more damage too if he wanted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, it's not taking away anything away from some of these other honorable mentions like Shahid and uh, yeah. obviously Derek Carr looked great and Kamara yeah. had another strong game. Uh, but yeah, if I got to pick one, I'd say Taysom. And for defense, I'm going to go with one that just quietly gets the job done, Lattimore. I, you mm-hmm. know, and you don't always see those stats show up, but um, I think he had a defensive pass interference I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, but of course, I'm biased. Um, <laughs> you know, he pick couple at least once in there could have been a pick six but yeah I, Lattimore for defense okay um for me on offense I'm gonna give it a tie and that's gonna be Carr and Shahid y'all can split that um <laughs> I just I thought y'all were really in sync uh, I hope you guys keep it up and on defense I thought about a Debo but I'm I'm a, I'm gonna stick with Grandison you know he, he's putting up sacks um I'm, I got I'm worried when he got hurt. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. glad he came back in. Right. Because he's big. Yeah. Yeah. For real. For real, man. Um, let's let's hope for some consistency this week coming up because we, we can't just do the good game, bad game, good game, bad game. We we need to get better. Consistency is the key. Yeah. Let's let's see if we can do it this week, man. So momentum. Even though Craig says that's not real, it's real. Oh, it's real. I, yeah. can, I can bite it. <laughs> well, let's because, just say that maybe not momentum. How about this say one success leads to another success? Mm-hmm. Well, like they say at Tulane, after every win, it's still just one and oh. Yes, correct. Every That's game is one and oh. That's there correct. You there you go. And and both teams, Tulane, my Tulane team and my Raging Cajun team. Yeah. Came we- through this week. Good weekend yeah. for Louisiana football. And LSU yeah. didn't lose. LSU didn't lose. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Unfortunately, my other alma mater, UK, did lose. Yeah. You know? And yeah. they had a chance to win that game, and they still couldn't do it. So yeah. it's tough. But, well, we'll see how it goes. Georgia, of course, rolling along. Yeah. 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 So, That's right. We'll see. Ah, uh, the SEC, you know, it's just lovely to watch them play. You know? That's right. That's right. Yes, okay. sir. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us this week on the Beer Chaser. We appreciate everybody stopping in, um, chatting us up. Uh, we will see you guys again next week and be on the lookout for the beer run coming real soon to you. So for that, uh, Tomas, B-Train, I am Dale. Uh, who that to you, baby? Who that? Yeah. Remember to follow us on social media at BSN Beer Media. Also, smash the like button on YouTube and share with friends. I'm a